Hallelujah. Let all the people praise Him. Let all the people praise Him. Let us stand, Bibles in our hands. I've searched the scripture on this high and holy day. Because of the length of the scriptures, I will not read all four of the passages, but will refer to them in my message. If you would cite them in your scripture and I'll technology team will put them on the screen. First scripture is Luke 1, 26 through 32. Luke 1, 26 through 32. Second passage is John 19, 25 through 27. John 19, 25 to 27. A third passage is Matthew 28, 1 through 8. And our final passage for our reflection and consideration is Acts chapter 1, verses 9 through 14. Again, Luke 1, 26 through 32. John 19, 25 through 27. Matthew 28, 1 through 8. And lastly, Acts chapter 1, verse 9 through 14. Out of those passages I want to share today from the theme, Mary, the mother of Jesus. You may be seated. Mary, the mother of Jesus. Beloved, Mary, the mother of Jesus, embodies the fullness and the meaning and definition of what it means to be a mother in the eyesight of God. You raise the question, why, Pastor, can you make such a bold declaration about Mary, the mother of Jesus, in light of the fact throughout biblical history that were many mothers cited and used by God for his glory. But this Mary, mother of Jesus, embodied sacred motherhood because she was holy. She was humble. She was honorable. She was respected. She was revered and she was rewarded because indeed God said that she was favored by God and blessed among all women. Nowhere else in the Holy Scripture. God makes such a declaration about a mother that she was highly favored and blessed among all women. The biblical record records that in the four major events in the life of our Christ and in Christendom, Mary, the mother of Jesus, was there or in close proximity. I repeat, biblical history calls that in the four major events in the life of our Christ and 
in the history of Christendom, Mary, the mother of Jesus, was present or she was in close proximity. Mary, the mother of Jesus, was there for his conception. She was there at his crucifixion. She was in proximity for his glorious resurrection. And she was also in proximity for his ascension. These four major events in the life of Christ, vis-a-vis -vis the church and in Christendom, finds Mother Mary with her son. You recall that the angels, the wise men, and all of the world at that time had heard that a new king would be born. In the person of this child. And his name shall be called Emmanuel. Interpreted God with us. When Jesus came forth, he came out of the womb of his mother in the person of Mary. She was there. And as the world rejoiced, the first voice he heard was not that of the disciples or the prophets, was not that of those who were around, but the first voice he heard was the voice of his mother, Mary. The Immaculate Conception. The theologians, biblical scholars, have tried to figure it out. Some have declared one thing and others have espoused other things. But we who know God, even those who doubt the Immaculate Conception, we embrace the fact that we believe that it did happen. And because Mary, the mother of Jesus, was used by God, songs have been named after her, poems have been written after her, churches have been named after her. There are many Marys in the church right now. You got your name from this man. She was there at his immaculate conception. She was there at the cross. She was there at the crucifixion. Jesus on the cross said, Woman, behold thy son. Son, behold thy mother. While Christ was on the cross, Brutality, the ugliness of the cross, the pain and the suffering, and the blood came streaming down. Roman soldiers gambled at his feet, mocked him. But it was the mother of Jesus who did not retreat. But she stood there and she sat there while her son raised his voice and made seven last statements. She didn't retreat. She didn't run. She stayed there by the side of her son. She was there. When he locked his head in his shoulders, when he declared, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. When he made the other six statements on the cross, Mary was there. Mary heard it. And she grieved and cried and mourned with her son. I believe that she would have taken his place on the cross. For no mother loves to see a son or a child suffering. But she was there. She was there when the news went out that Jesus has a risen. Mary Magdalene 
and the other man ran from the grave, told the disciples that he has risen. Mary heard the news that her son was yet alive. He came to give us life, give it more abundance. She was there. She was there after he ascended to heaven to be at the right hand of the Father. The Bible says in Acts chapter 1, verse 14, that the 11 disciples, Judas went there, he had committed suicide. But the 11 disciples went into the upper room with Mary, the mother of Jesus. And they prayed. Biblical history says that she was there for his conception, his crucifixion, his resurrection, and his ascension. Well, Pastor, what does all of that mean for the modern 21st century mother? It means as God chose Mary. To change humanity. Yeah. To bring forth Jesus. Emmanuel. The same Jesus. Who turned water in. Wine in the water and water in the wine. This same Jesus. Who took two fish and five barley loaves and fed five thousand. This same Jesus. Who brought Lazarus from the dead. This same Jesus. Who walked on water. This same Jesus. That performed exorcists and cast out devils. This same Jesus. Who preached the glorious gospel of God. And declared the spirit of the Lord is upon me. For he's anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. This same Jesus. Stop one day. A funeral was proceeding down the street. The crowd went out. Jesus, Master. Jesus stopped what he was doing and raised Nain's daughter from the dead. This same Jesus. The same Jesus. The Jesus of your mother. The Jesus of your grandmother. The Jesus of your great, great, great. Jesus the same Jesus came forth from men and as God used her God wants to use mothers today There are children who need a word from the Lord, from their mother. There are families that need to be healed. Mothers can be healed. There are children in our communities who need to be mentored. Mothers step up to the plate. Take the Lord with you. The corporate boardrooms of Delaware, take the Lord with you. Yeah, yeah. To the schoolhouse, take the Lord with you. Take him to the ghetto and let him know that God can live in the ghetto. Take him to the hood and tell them there's hope in the hood because God is yet alive. That's still work for you to do. And as God used them, as God used other mothers in the scripture, surely, surely, he's looking for somebody he can use today. I hear the ancient prophet Isaiah saying, hear me, send me. Not only send me to worship, but send me to be a witness. Send me to tell somebody else 
what God has done for me. Send me to tell the story that if it had not been for the Lord on my side, I couldn't have raised these children. I couldn't have been a strong single mother. I couldn't have been a good wife. I couldn't have been a good person. I couldn't have raised my business if it had not been for the Lord. Bear witness. Jesus said, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify the Father which is in heaven. As I move throughout the city, the county, the state, and the nation, I see there are many young men and young women who can benefit from a strong Christian mother. We know all the negativity. We can declare and decree the minutia and the plethora of ills that are tearing at the very fiber and fabric of our community and our families. But I today, Chris Bullock, I'm not ready to preach a eulogy at the graveside of the African American family. As long as God is on the throne, and he is. As long as Jesus is still saving, and he is. As long as the Holy Ghost is still moving, and he is. As long as the doors of the church are open, and they are. As long as the songs of Zion are sung, and they are. As long as the people are serving and praising God, we got to lift our families and mothers. Uh, we count on you to help us lift our families. We ever needed you, we need you now. Babies having babies. You know the list. Children disobedient to parents. You know the issues. But God is not through with us yet. Hallelujah. Here am I. Send me. Send me, send me, send me. Me to the supper. Send me to the city. Send me back to Pennsylvania, Delaware, New Jersey, Maryland. Use me for thy shirt. Not for pomp or circumstance. Not for man's glory. But use me. Mary, 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 Mary. The mother of Allow God to use her. And nowhere in her narrative she had to deal with jealous women. Or clicks. Or schism. She was fixated and focus on pleasing God. We must lay aside every way you say that so easily besets us. And run this race with peace. Look at Jesus who is the author and finisher of our faith. Don't get sidetracked, my sister. Don't major on my it's really not that serious. But when you look to the hill, and you declare that my mind is made up. My heart is fixed. I'm going to press on and serve the Lord. Only what you do, Christ will last. Yes. 
Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You focus on Christ. Uh -huh. You keep your mind stayed on Him. You say to the Lord, use me. You know, you don't need a title, Reverend Doctor, Deacon, Missionary. Yeah, God is not interested in all of those kinds of things. No, he's interested in your availability. And I raise the question as I close, is there anybody here? Uh, particularly mothers and women and sisters. Next week is Mother's Day. Women's Day, I'm sorry. Uh, but I want to know, is there anybody who made up in their mind? During the course of this sermon and this worship experience, that on this day my mind is made up, and I'm going to serve the Lord anyhow. I'm going to keep my hand to the Lord. Any, anyhow, I see about 25, 30 sisters that made up their mind. I know there's more than that. Who said I'm going to serve the Lord? I mean it. I'm serious. It's sacred. It's a holy vocation. And I hear the hymnologists singing and writing. I'm on the battlefield for my Lord. I was alone and idle. I was a sinner too. But I heard the voice of heaven saying, there is work to do. I took my master's hand and I joined the Christian band. And I'm on the battlefield for my Lord. Are there any soldiers in the army of the Lord? You're on the battlefield. Stand with your helmet of salvation up. Stand with the blessed plate of righteousness on. Both with the belt of truth on. Stand with the shoes of peace on. Stand with the shield of faith on your heart. Stand with the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Yeah. Hallelujah, yes. In worship and work and in witness, tell the Lord to hear my send me. Praise God for Mary, the mother of Jesus. She was there the four major events in his life. She was there at the conception. She did it. She was there for his crucifixion. She was there in proximity for his glorious resurrection. She was there in proximity when he left the Mount of Olives while they were gazing in there. And our Christ went on up to be with God and the promise of the Holy Spirit came down. Hallelujah. The same God is saying to women and mothers today, I want to use you. Come on and bless his name. Hallelujah. Let all the people praise them. Let all the people praise them.